All right, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're gonna to cover the interactions of the skeletal muscles. So one of the key things I want you to understand is that muscles never work alone. And so that's what this PowerPoint is going to do. We're going to discuss what takes place when an action is completed. First, we're gonna go over a few definitions here. Okay, we need to know what an agonist is, we need to know what an antagonist is, we need to know what a synergist is, and we need to know what a fixator is before we go into the inblex. So we're gonna discuss that today. An agonist is the prime mover. It is the muscle that is responsible for the action. Okay, so it is the muscle that contracts. The antagonist is the opposing muscle. It causes the opposite action. Okay, so whenever the prime mover, the agonist contracts, the antagonist must relax. Synergists. Synergists are helpers. What they do are, is they assist the prime mover. And then a fixator. A fixator are stabilizers. They stabilize the proximal joint so the distal limb can achieve effective contraction. So we will go over these more in depth and I will give you a few examples so you can better understand them. So for example, flexion at the elbow, like in this figure, will cause the agonist, the biceps brachii, which is this, to contract while the antagonist is the triceps brachii, must relax, so they are relaxed. So what you notice is the biceps brachii are contracted, this is shortened, and the triceps brachii are lengthened, and they are relaxed, okay? So they are opposing. This is the agonist, this is the antagonist. Agonist, prime mover, biceps brachii, antagonist, opposing muscle, triceps brachii. Another example, extension at the elbow. Okay, so it is weight bearing and the arm is extended. It will cause the agonist, the triceps brachii, to contract. So here they are, contracted and shortened. Now the antagonist must relax. So that is going to be the biceps brachii, which is lengthened and relaxed here. So agonist, prime mover, triceps brachii, antagonist opposing muscle biceps brachii and so just a quick little side note there is something called reciprocal inhibition so the reciprocal muscle has to inhibit so here the triceps are contracted and the opposite muscle the reciprocal muscle has to inhibit it is relaxed okay but we will discuss that more in depth in another video so let's move on to a synergist these are the helpers. They assist the prime mover, the agonist, in weight-bearing movement at the insertion point of the muscle. So let's go back to flexion at the elbow. This one right here, flexion at the elbow. The prime mover is going to be our biceps brachii along with the brachialis and brachioradialis. So flexion at the elbow, humeral ulnar joint. That is the joint that is depicted right here, the humeral ulnar joint. It's where the humerus and the ulna meet together. The prime movers here are biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis. Now there are also some helpers that are assisting, synergist. Another word for um, working together is synergy. So that's what synergist means is helper. So muscles that assist, they're gonna be the flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, palmaris longus, pronator teres, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Now some of you right now are probably like, oh my goodness, do I have to memorize all of this? Well, yes and no. You need to have a foundation and an understanding of much of this but I did not go into the inblex knowing everything. I knew just enough to pass. So don't stress yourself out too much about all of the muscles that are listed here and the ones that assist in just flexion at the elbow. I just need you to understand what an agonist, what an antagonist, what a synergist, and what a fixator are. And then we'll worry about the rest later as we get more into kinesiology. So let's go ahead and move on to fixator. A fixator is a stabilizer, and that's what it does. It stabilizes the origin of the agonist muscle so that the movement at the insertion point achieves an effective contraction. So for example, 
flexion at the elbow, the muscles of the lino-humeral joint are going to be fixated to help. So let me, let, me, let me explain that a little bit more in depth. So here is the origin of the muscle. It is at the supraglenoid uh, cavity, or tubercle, rather. And so what happens is this is the origin, and this is the insertion of the biceps brachii, which are the prime movers in flexion of the humeral ulnar joint at the elbow. And so we have a whole bunch of muscles that overlay on top of the scapula, on top of the shoulder, uh, muscles such as the deltoids, such as the rotator cuff, traps, rhomboids, and all these muscles, what they do is they fixate on top of this muscle. And so it stabilizes the muscle. So when this muscle acts and it causes a movement, instead of pulling this out of place, those muscles fixate on top of it. And the only movement we see is the forearm and the hand come up. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better understanding of what a fixator is. So one more time, let's cover that. An agonist is the prime mover. It is the muscle responsible for the action. The antagonist is the opposing muscle. It is the muscle that causes the opposite action. So when the prime mover agonist contracts, the antagonist must relax. Synergists are the helpers. They are the muscles that work together with the prime movers to cause an action. And then the fixator is the stabilizers at the origin of the muscle, usually at the proximal joint so that the distal limb achieves effective contraction. Now, real quick, we're gonna do a quick quiz to make sure that you have a basic understanding of what we just covered today. Answer these in the comments below or on a separate sheet of paper. Extension at the elbow, this is the action. What is the prime mover? Action flexion at the elbow, what is the opposing mover? Okay, what is the antagonist of this one? And then tell me what does a synergist do? And then tell me what does a fixator do? I will put the answers in the description of this video. Again, and always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask about any of this material, or if you want me to cover any other additional material, Go ahead and list it in the comments. You can also email me. You can find that in the About Me section of my YouTube channel. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That really does help me grow and reach other people who need help on the Inblex. All right? So y'all have a wonderful week, and I will see y'all soon in the next video. Y'all take care.